The warden finds the Sam the Owl! No way! The Owl's gonna save this! The Owl takes down the Archer Tower! Welcome back to the channel, and this is the NACC, where Tribe Gaming is taking on Tamai Empire. They're going at it in a 5v5 war. The attacks are about to start. And who do we have here? We got Knowledge, Nebrex, Eve Maxi, Exorcist, and Eve Check for Tribe Gaming. And we have Rigatoris, React, Amu Allen, Michael DP, and Machuo. This is one of the biggest rivalries in Clash of Clans. Dates it back to when it was Tribe Gaming versus Team Queso. And who is going to take this match? It's swinging back and forth. But if you guys are enjoying these types of videos of the wars, make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe down below for the daily content for wars just like this. We're getting ready. The attacks are about to start. Make sure you let me know who you think is going to win down in the comment section. Here we go. Riga Torres is in good luck to Mr. Rigo. Riga Torres starts in with the Inferno Dragons. All right. Not no, no, he's not coming up with some crazy Lalo attack. Using some skeletons to distract. We've been seeing some Inferno Dragons, regular dragons, E Dragons. The dragon meta is coming back. The queen is going to be walking her way on the left side, pushing his way through the scatter shots. He's already used that Grand War Internal Tome. Finally deploys the king down to the bottom side. He doesn't have any wall breakers. He's hit, saving onto that blimp. Raises up that middle multi-target Inferno. Takes out the eagle. The sweeper is going to push him back. Drops that rage already. He's not waiting. The air defense. Watch out for a tornado trap. Does he find one? No. And he finally makes it. The balloons under rage take the town hall down. But these Inferno Dragons are going down pretty quick. Air defense goes down. He's got the World Champion coming on the right side. He drops the skeleton over by the cannon. The tassels do pop. Inferno Dragon pulls a sinking your mind, but the Tesla in the core goes down. RC's ability goes off. Still has the King and Queen ability here against Nebrex's base. F finds the ground skeleton. The Royal Champ's going to push in, and matter of time, he's going to get that three star. He's going to get it. He's swagging the King and Queen ability. Riga Torres coming in, tripling with super quick with the Inferno Dragons. GG. Wow. All right. Couldn't even take that in, and it is a triple, which now Tribe Gaming is going to have to answer. Good luck. Nebrax is going in, and he says Inferno Dragons is the way to go as well. All right, we're seeing Inferno Dragons. <laughs> we saw using a lightning onto the sweeper by the Royal Champion does damage her a little bit, sending some hogs into the air defense while the Yeti is tanking the scatter shot. Air defense does go down. Pulls a ground skeleton. Sends the king down south towards six. Skeleton's gonna run off over there. There's double skeletons into the scatter shot. There's infernal dragons. They're down. Skellies have been killed off by the king. Balloons are going down. He's trying to... The scatter doesn't know what to hit. Pops that warden ability right off the bat. Drops the queen to walk to the bottom side. He does have a super wall breaker, so the queen can grab this multi-target Inferno. King's ability goes off. Inferno Dragons are trying to continue to push through. They're taking down that king relatively quickly, looks like. Yep, down he goes. Queen's going to be able to... Oh, the king beats the wall with the yak there. That queen... Oh, the skelly is distracting her while the Inferno Dragons take her down. There's the freeze onto the multi-target Inferno on the core. There's the skelly to distract that single. Here comes the blimp after the fact. It's looking pretty strong so far. A bunch of Inferno Dragons are still up in the core. He can drop the Royal Champion off to the right side. He's got a... Oh, no, he does not have a raid spell. So he relies on Sneaky Goblins to help take that Town Hall down. That blimp did end up making it. And I don't see... Yes, the Town Hall just does go down right there from the Sneaky. He's the, ta the Tornado Trap's on the top side of the base. The Royal Champion's continuing her push. So luckily that blimp made it. And he did not rely on a raged uh, Balloons to take it down. He's got two freezes. RC ability is going to be used. Finds the red air bomb in the core. Scatter shot's about to go down. Freezes up the cannon, the archer tower. He's got one freeze left. The Inferno Dragons are going to distract this archer tower. This Royal Champion will push her way around. And we've got ourselves an answer with Inferno Dragons as well. It's not the fastest Inferno Dragon attack. But it's going to be the triple. GG, Nebrex. GG. Getting this one. Nothing's over here on the right side. I mean... Bruh. Bruh. 
Bruh. Yo. 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 What? What is this archer doing? What is this archer doing? What is this archer doing? What is the archer doing? Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Well, it's a three to three. It's all tied up. Michael DP. Here we go. Oh, finds a Tesla farm right off the bat. We've got ourselves something different other than Inferno Dragons. We've got ourselves a Queen Charge Lalo. King's ability goes off. He's going to super wall break the Queen up top towards the scatter. Yep, there he goes. He opens the wall. The King runs back, takes out the Tesla. The Yak's going crazy because his King died. And he beats through the wall and grabs the Archer Tower or the Bloom will do it. The Bloom will do it. The Bloom takes down the Archer Tower. The Queen's going to continue her charge. He's got a jump spell for the Queen into... Ooh. Drops a Rage for the Queen. He's going to be able to now reach the enemy Queen. He can jump this and grab both in multi-target Infernos. The Queens are no longer in the Rage, so he is forced to use a Freeze spell here. Down goes the enemy Queen. Here comes the Royal Ch Okay, so he's going to use the Royal Champion here to, for to grab that. So he's going to jump his way to grab the other two multi-target Infernos in the core. The King is not in range of the Royal Champion. It's going to be a beautiful charge. So much value through here. Oh, now he's onto the defending king. He's gonna have the pop queen ability. Yep, queen's ability is popped. There it is. Takes down the defending king. Gonna take down the royal champion. How big of a deal is that gonna be? Because out comes the CC now. He drops the poison spell. The healers got locked on by the eagle artillery. Still are just hanging on here. One red right arrow bomb and down they go. Eagle locked onto the oh to the balloons. So it didn't hit the healers. He needed to keep them alive. Here comes the next town, pushing his way into this eagle, which unfortunately, here comes the blimp. What is the eagle going to target? It's going to target the ward, and the queen goes down. That blimp's going to be pushing its way to the town hall. The queen, unfortunately, was not able to grab too much other than that middle multi. There's a tornado trap here. Spinning this balloon around does end up freezing the town hall. He's got a rage to use. Freezes out the bottom scatter shot. There's the rage that comes over the town hall with the balloons. They're pushing their way around. The dragon is still up. Scatter is about to go down. The poison spell, the balloons just dodge it. They're pushing their way around. He's got a wizard. He's got a minion to deploy. Is it going to be enough? This poison spell, though. Oof. Oh, the poison slowing these balloons down. Finds a red air bomb. The warden needs to help pick this, this multi off. But it's not going down. The warden's going to go down. And the multi is going to stay. And Knowledge's base is going to hold. Michael DP. That Queen's ability and late Headhunter meant all the difference there. The multi was supposed to go down to the Queen and this could have been a triple. Nice try. Nice try. Knowledge. GG. On the defense. 95% two star right there. Which now puts them at a 97.5 average in Tribe Gaming. Try to go for the trip. Exorcist, good luck. What's... Oh. They're like answering one another. Now this is going to be a Queen of Charge Lolo. Starting with that blimp to help grab some value. Can it grab the Queen? The scatter shot. Oh, pops it. Where's the Yeti going to go? No, goes through the ground. Skelly, the Queen's going to stay up. 500 million archers and goblins do come out. <laughs> Okay, here they go. They split off, though. He's going to have to drop the poison onto the headhunters. He does, as the archers and goblins are going to run off to this queen here. The ground expo, hitting this queen, takes care of the headhunters. Oh! Whoa, he stayed alive, not using a rage or anything. Wow, now he does use it. Exorcist somehow says, no, I don't need it. Drops the wizard up top, drops some balloons that go towards the air defense. He's going to lose a healer, unfortunately. Drops. Okay. The king's going to be on the top side. Queen's charging into the enemy royal champion. Grabbing this value. The unicorn. He freezes up this whole area. And the unicorn actually is able to stay alive and help this queen. Yak is on the king. He's moving his way up and around. Multi does go down. 
There's a super wall break. Oh, this is an epic charge. If he can get this queen to go for the town hall. He does open this compartment. He's going to be able to reach the enemy queen as well. There's another rage. The queen steps up and is going to easily be able to pick her off. The king's ability is actually going to force the funnel of the queen straight to this town hall here. Eagle Artillery is still standing. The king runs back around. This queen is pathing perfectly to the town hall. Unless she does something absolutely insane. There's a tornado tra trap. Uh-oh. She should go back to it. She should go to the platform and then the town hall area. Here comes the Lalo hanging on the royal champion. Tesla farm does pop, which is quite annoying for these balloons. Yes, she does path her way to the town hall here. Royal champion is coming into the multi on the right side. The middle multi is still standing with the sweeper pointing down to the bottom side. These balloons are going down fast. Rages up the royal champion towards that multi there. Oh, he freezes up the scatter shot. He got so much value that the balloons don't need to get that much value. He's going to rely on the Royal Champion. He drops the haste of the balloons. The RC is going to die, but oh my gosh, the Lalo unfortunately just disappeared. The Lalo just disappeared. The Queen's going to beat through the wall. 30 seconds left. That insane queen charge. 25 seconds. The warden stays alive. Queen's going to help finish this off. And it's going to be a triple. <clears throat> wow. Those balloons died fast. But GG. It's a three star nonetheless. All right. That's two for two for tribe. Which puts them in the advantage. Machuo is looking to put a three star up on the board for Tom My Empire with the queen charge lalo he does use a regular wall breaker drops it was just a test for things the rage is down so that the yetis can help grab the multi oh found some spring traps not gonna grab the ground expo but the queen can reach it headhunters come out queen should be able to help pick them off oh uh, yep take took them down pretty easily there Minion, not going to do much. He's got a super wall breaker. He can bust through here to grab the scatter shot. Oh, it goes a little bit to the higher up here. Where's the queen going to step? Is she going to grab the ground expo? She should. She does. Now comes the lava hound. Ground expo goes down. Queen's going to be on the hound next. There's a Seeking Air Mine, which is going to protect these healers here. He's got the Poison Spell. Drops it. Gonna pop. Hound should be taken care of. You could drop a minion if you want, but a very nicely placed Poison clears a bunch of the... bunch of the Lava Puffs. Yeti's up top. Rages up the Queen through the Scatter, through some of the Teslas. It's a beautiful valley so far from this Queen Charge. Eagle is standing up on the bottom side of the base at 6. Minion's down there. Hasn't even used the king yet. It looks like he's going to send the king in towards the town hall. There it is. He's got a jump spell for this queen to go for that multi-target inferno. Okay. He's got a minute and 20 seconds left. There's the freeze. Onto the ground expo and the grand warden. There's the jump for the queen into the middle of the base. Drops another rage for this queen. Oh, this is looking like a beautiful charge so far. Still hanging out of the royal champion. King's going to pop, pop his ability. He's going to look to take the town hall down. But the skellies... Oh, a giant bomb. Is it going to be enough to take the town? Oh, the town hall just goes down. Wow, that was close. The barbarians help finish it off. The warden is flying around. Uses the phrase onto the scatter shot. He's got to pop that warden build. He does now. The queen's going to try to step her way up to the bottom side to the enemy queen. Finds a bunch of red air bombs right there by the scatter shot. But the one balloon makes it into the death rays. Pops the queen ability and takes her down. He didn't really need to pop that, use the freeze on that scatter shot there. But he does anyways. The raw champion dies off. He's only got 28 seconds left. It's all about time now. The scatter's gone. 25 seconds left. Can these balloons push their way around to the wizard tower? Get to the cannon and start cleaning up. The king's going to go down. The queen's taking the jump to run on the outside. No, she's going to the bottom to the cannon. Do we have a time fail? Do we have a time fail here for Machuo? Against Eve Maxi's base. Only five seconds remaining. The owl trying to get some... Oh no! A 99! 
A 99% for Machuo. Oh, how unfortunate. Oh, man. Which puts them at only one three star. Eve check is in. Good luck, Mr. Eve check. Coming in. Oh, with a hybrid. You don't see hybrids all too often at the moment. And he's going to use the blimp hybrid. All right. Limping his way into the queen. Finds the seeking air mine. Lands right on top of her. Uses the raid spell. Does he target her? Yes. But, oh, the final shot of the Yeti kills that queen. Takes this compartment down. Freezes up the headhunter here to help protect the queen. That ground expo did a bunch of work there. He has to deploy the poison. Finally does this queen. He uses the rage. And he's not. What? He saved onto that queen ability just barely. Wow. Eve check hangs on there. Setting up the funnel here. On the bottom side and up top as well. He drops a balloon. Archer to help. And the death damage of the balloon should help take down the multi mortar. He wants this queen to walk her way all the way to the town hall. But watch out for that single target inferno. Here comes the king. He's going to run his way through here. He's going to have the hybrid go into this eagle artillery. And there we go. He's pushed his way in. Mal Tesla's. Tesla farm looks to be right next to that multi-target inferno. Plus a bunch of traps. Headhunters looking to clear this king. The queen is charging her way to the town hall. King's got his ability. He pops the warden eternal tome to help protect everything through this section. Queen is under rage. Oh, it's an open compartment here. Queen's going to be able to move her way through. Single target inferno has not locked on. He's got no more heal. Oh, there's the heal spell into the scatter shot. He does freeze up the town hall and the single target inferno. Royal champion's pushing her way to the scatter. King is running around to keep this funnel around the base so the miners can make their way straight to the scatter. But the, sc but the scatter shot is doing some work. Queen's ability goes off. There's the town hall poison, which is going to slow this queen down. There's the tornado trap. Oh, is it going to be enough? The hybrid is dying off here. They're, he's losing it. That single target inferno is going to take the queen down. And he's got the royal champion ability. But the miners, he's going to pop the RC ability. He skips, takes out the archer towers. Down that goes. Healers pull some traps. Freezes up the single and the ground expo. But the royal champion is not going to be able to have enough. Gets through the builder hut. And the warden's like, nope, I don't want to do anything. He's going to get locked down too. And it's going to be a defense for Amualen. Nice try, Eve check. The hybrid though. Not enough. Nice try. All right, so that is exactly what they needed. Nice try. Which, But Tribe is still in the advantage here. They've got two triples. Average destruction is a 98.7 to a 98. So it is neck and neck. All right. Oh, Amualan, my guess is he's going to come in the dragons. Oh, no. Zap Lalo. Just knows Amualan loves his dragon. Uses the lightning to help grab the multi tar Inferno. And also, using the earthquake is very smart because it did. I was gonna... Um... Well... Um... Well, he didn't go down. I was gonna say using the Earthquake first is very smart. So that the Builder repairs itself and not the Multi. But it stays up! Oh, no. Okay. He makes the Royal Champion invisible. Ooh, literally it's almost down. He needs one more Lightning for it. Oh, no. Pops the RC ability. Oh no. Claire's the Lava Hound. Royal Champion. Can she grab the Archer Tower? Yes, she does with the final shot. Oh, he's going to send one balloon. There. You're going to have to send another one. There's going to be a red air bomb or a sinking air mine. There's no way that one balloon's going to make it. There's no way. He's going to haste his way into the Eagle Artillery. There's no way this one balloon's going to make it. There's no way. Don't tell me. Yeah, I told you. There's no way. There's going to be traps leading into it. There's the warden ability. Balloon's pushing its way around. The blimp's trying to make its way to the town hall. He freezes up the scatter shot. Oh my goodness. There's the Tesla farm there as well. The tornado trip. Wait, where did the blimp pop? Okay, the blimp popped on the other side. Okay, I thought he was getting pulled around. 
But that multi-target Inferno is shredding these loons here. Ooh. Now they're going to go right past that tornado, and we got ourselves a defense. We got ourselves a defense. Man. That, that multi. Nice try. Nice try. But that's it. An 85% two-star. That's three two-stars and one triple. Here we go. All right. Eve Maxi is coming in with the Zap Lalo. Let's see if he can do what Amu Allen couldn't. And taking out a certain section with the lightning. That's a small mistake. Drops a balloon onto the cannon to help take it down. Drops a third loon. Down it goes. Super wall break his way in towards the eagle. Got the ice comb leading the charge. Royal champion's down, looking to have the royal champion grab this multi. He's got no invis. He drops the earthquake, takes out the multi. There's a double. There's the royal champion ability. The earthquake lightning takes out the scatter shot in the core. What a nice plan there from Eve Maxi. Down goes the royal champion, finds the skeleton trap next to the queen scatter. It's gonna run off to them. There comes the headhunter out of the CC. Should be able to clear it. Hanging out of the poison spell. Queen's going to be able to do some nice work. The ice golem's moving its way around, which means that it's not getting locked onto. It finally does. Should freeze up the section. Queen's got her ability. Getting a beautiful valley from the Sui so far. And the town and the CC hasn't been lured out, which probably might even just be a lava hound in there. And now the, his queen is taking out the enemy royal champion. A single target inferno. All that valley on the top side. Here comes the blimp to fly all the way across the base. Pops the warden internal tome. He hasn't lured out. He hasn't... Oh, yep. There are headhunters onto the defending queen. There's the haste. Blimp's pushing its way towards the town hall. He pulls out the lava hound. We've got sneaky goblins. Freezes up the town hall to help protect it. Tassels are around it. There's the tornado trap on the other side. But down it goes. Uses another free spell. And he's got this, this lalo flying its way right around. He's got a haste. He's got a poison. The town hall poison is only going to take down a few loons here. But these balloons are flying around beautifully from... Eve Maxi. He sends, oh my goodness, sends one mini into the core, and there's a bunch of red air bombs there. But, wait a second. Hold on. This multi target Inferno. It was looking so good. Down goes the loons. The warden. He's got a poison spell. The warden's taking it down. The owl. He's got the poison, the hound. Uh oh. He's going to poison this hound once it pops. And there you go. Drop that poison. He did it. The warden fights a Sam. The owl. No way. The owl is going to save this. The owl takes down the archer tower. What? What a clutch owl. The defenses are gone. And no. Red air bomb. Oh my goodness. The owl is still standing. But buddy's going to get it. Eve Maxi. Oh, the Owl clutches it for Eve Maxi there for the three-star for Tribe Gaming. GG. What is that going to put him at? Three triples for Tribe. Only one for Tama Empire. React is going in for the triple. Can he do it? With the Zap Lala. Uses the lightning into the core on that multi and the earthquake. And the multi does go down. Okay. Drops, in a, drops a skeleton spell over by the enemy royal champion and single target Inferno on the left side with two headhunters to help assist. Needs to take her down. Needs to clear the section and then try to force this king and queen towards the scatter shot. There's the queen to help force the king into that compartment. Then walk his way to the town hall. The single locked onto the royal champion. Single does go down. But his royal champion grabs the wizard tower and clears that compartment beautifully. He's getting some beautiful value. There's the super wall breaker. Opens a little bit of a wall but finds a Tesla farm. Down to the 6 o'clock section. Now this king is saving it on his ability. He's about to pop it right about now. There it is. The unicorn on the queen. Healing up a little bit. Double skeleton trap. Fine. Right next to the town hall. Small bomb. The yes activated. And finally does activate the town hall. Which does lock onto the king. The queen. The unicorn. All this section. But the queen is looking solid. Pops her ability. And the town hall is going to go down. Locks that up for the one star so far. Queen takes out the air defense. Where's the Lalo going to start? He still has the Stone Slammer to deploy. 
Stone Slammer into the Air Expo, into the middle. Yep, there it is. Stone Slammer going to the Air Expo. The one balloon testing for traps. Finds the red air bombs. Finds the tornado trap. So that is active, which is beautiful. He doesn't have to worry about it now. And he's now luring out this clan castle, which has headhunters, archers. He's got a free spell. Is he going to use it? The, oh, the, the, oh, down it goes the headhunters. Once that stone slammer popped open, drops the hay spell. He's not dropping the grand warden just yet. The, the dragon was on the queen, but it goes down. The queen helps pick that off, but the warden and headhunters will be pushing their way into the enemy queen. Looking pretty solid so far from React. Pops that warden ability, which clips not only the headhunters, but also the lava hound to stay alive longer through this air defense. Has four free spells, finally uses one of them. Onto the multi-target in front of by three. The balloons are going to push their way through. Another freeze is down. Saving onto the haste. He's only got 52 seconds left. This king is on the top side. He's going to be the best air defense in the game. Can it hold the pups? To stop him from cleaning up. He needs this hound to pop. To help with cleanup. He's saving onto one balloon. Flying his way around. He's got one freeze left as well. And the minions are locking on. He's got two archers to deploy. Don't know why he's not dropping them just yet. Finally does. Pulls the go- Oh, he pulls the goblins over there. That king is standing. Oh, he just targets the balloon onto the clan castle beautifully. Could that save the day? The balloon's trying. He's got 13 seconds. Oh, no. Is it another time fail for Tompo Empire? Oh, the king finally dies. Six seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. And it's a 96% two-star time fail. Oh, man. Nice try. It's the war of time fails for them. Good luck. He's looking to put up another triple for Tribe Gaming. And this time, it's not a Lalo attack. We're going to the ground. The super pick a smash. Starting off with that Grand Warden and he's sending the owl into its death of the air defense. But it's not in range just yet. The Archer Tower is locking on and now it's in range. Bye bye, owl. Rages up the Warden with no healers just yet. Owl's dead. Owl's been neutralized. Drops the healers finally onto the Warden. Trying to get this warden under rage to grab a bunch of this value. Balloons trying to test for traps and doesn't find any. Uh, one peck is down. King Ice Golem over to the right. Drops the peck as the warden is coming around. But the wizard tower that the warden was working on is getting healed back up by the builder. Drops some balloons to test for Sam's. The healers do transfer off. Drops the jump. Here comes the blimp to go for the town hall. He's going to pop this warden build. He does just do that. Protects the super wizard's pekkas through the eagle artillery shots. Sweeper's pushing the blimp a little bit back. The multi-target in front of us in the core. There's the tornado trap, which is going to pull the troops away from the town hall here. Freezes up the core. And what does he have? Is there sneaky goblins? The town hall is not going down. And it does actually just barely go down. And these super wizards absolutely got shredded in the core by that multi-target in front of The king's going down to the single. He's sending the royal champion in. And they, where did these troops go? They just got... They just disintegrated. No more P.E.K.K.A.s. No more Super Wizards. The double jump. He's going to get the two star. But. Troops are gone. There's no more troops. Where'd they go? Minions on the cannon. Pops the queen ability. She steps up to the backside scatter. Well, champion's got her ability. The cannon's doing a little. Quite a bit of damage to her. Scatter goes down. Royal Champion. Oh, dang it. The Royal Champ's ability hit the almost dead scatter shot. Couldn't have hit another defense. Queen's actually tanking the scatter, but there's a Tesla farm still up on the top side. 46 seconds. The Unicorn and Healers are on the Queen. Finds the Skeleton. And the Royal Champ's going to go down. 82 plus percent. It's going to be a defense for Rigatoris. A tribe is going to finish with 13. And with the super wizards, they uh, got destroyed. Queen walks her way into this compartment. The cannon and scattershot are going to kill her. Bam! Down she goes, and it's going to be a 90% two-star for knowledge. Nice try. 90% right there for knowledge, which means... 
that Tribe Gaming is going to be victorious 13 to 11, 97.2 to a 95.0 here in the NACC between all these teams. Let's take a look at the standings while we're at it. So this is not updated with the latest Tribe, so hopefully it's up to date, update, most to update before this war. Not sure. But you can see a monster is 4-0. Queen Walkers are 3-1. Team Elevate is 3-1. And Tribe Gaming should now be moving to 3-1 as well. They were 6th. We're above alternate attacks here in the NACC. Should be moving up a little bit. A GG to Tribe taking out Tampa Empire. 13-11. GG.